Hi, I'm Ryan Richard, the Wave Shaper with Bend Park and Recreation District. Thousands of people enjoy floating the Deschutes River every year and I'm here to give you a few pointers on how you can make that experience more enjoyable and safe. Your one and a half hour float will begin here at River Bend Park and will take you through the new Bend Whitewater Park, concluding at the scenic Drake Park. If you are new to Bend or river recreation, be sure to survey the float before starting your trip. Remember that even water that looks calm can contain strong currents and undertows. Floating the river can be done in a variety of craft, from inner tubes to stand-up paddle boards and even kayaks. When choosing your craft, make the safe choice. It should be one that you feel familiar and comfortable with. The majority of the float along this section of the Deschutes River is relatively calm, but you will experience minor turbulence in the floater's channel of the Whitewater Park. As you approach the Bend Whitewater Park, you will notice the Colorado Avenue Bridge, as well as a large orange boom directing floaters to the left side of the river. This will take you directly into the floater's passage. As a floater, please do not cross over the orange boom, as the area behind it contains extremely powerful white water and is intended for expert use only with the proper gear and safety equipment. If you choose to forego the floater's passage, you can exit at the Colorado Bridge and re-enter the river at McKay Park Beach. Life jackets are required for children under 12 years old and they are recommended for everyone. Parking is not allowed at the Old Mill. Please use the lots available at River Bend Park. Once finished, you may catch the Ride the River Shuttle, which will pick you up at Drake Park and drop you back off at River Bend Park. This service costs a small fee and is available from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a safe and great time on the river.